Yeah, welcome back to the channel. We're doing one of my favorite things today, and that's chasing lake trout. We just got all set up. We got an iFish Pro set up outside there. Just got all the camera gear set up. Got the active target running. We're just about to drop down, and yeah, pretty pumped to get the season underway. So stay tuned. Hopefully, we get hooked up with a few fish here. Looks like we got lots of bait down there today. We're just dropping down to the bottom here. But yeah, tons of bait. So it's a good sign. Some of these fish should move in, feeding on this bait, and hopefully get hooked up. Well, look, there's already one coming in here. Start reeling up, see if he wants to chase. I didn't even check my drag. It's a little bit loose. Tighten her up a little bit, see if we can get this one to come after us here. We literally just dropped down. Already got a little bit of action. He's kind of a lazy chase, but he is catching up here. Oh, a loose drag. Tighten that up a little bit. Yeah, there we go, hooked up. Good start to the season here. First drop, first fish. Gotta love this early ice. Yeah, we were at the leader. He's starting to pull a little bit here. Didn't quite get a look at him under the ice. Didn't look like a huge mark, but oh yeah, it's a great fish to start off the season. <laughs> yeah, what a way to start off the season. Literally two minutes in, we had one chasing us. Cut him on that uh, Moto Meathead with a swim bait on it. But yeah, check this fish out. Nice fish, we'll get right back and hopefully we can get hooked up with a few more here. I said that didn't take too long. Caught him on that TC Moto meat out of the swim bait. It's like literally just dropped down, seen some bait, bait cleared out, fish on. We'll get right back down there. Hopefully there's a few more around. Yeah, he took another swipe at us, see if we can get him chasing. There he's right underneath us, chasing up. Just reel up pretty aggressively here. This fish seems fairly aggressive. He missed it there. Drop back down, start reeling again. See if he takes one more chance here. There we go, right about 20 feet under the ice. Doesn't feel super big, pretty squirrely. There you go, he's right under the ice here. Hit the leader already. Problem with that, they don't get tired out too much, so it's freaking out. Another dark one. One this morning was a dark fish. Another dark one, it's actually it's a pretty long fish. Get that hook popped over the top of his mouth here. Yeah, pretty long fish. Get it right back in the water here. Oh, yeah, that one definitely splashed the cameras. Get our swim bait rig back up here. Get back down there, that's fish number two already. Pretty awesome morning. We literally just got out here, maybe been fishing for 15 minutes. And yeah, that's the first ice bite. Super fun, but we'll get back at her here. Hopefully we can get a good one before the day wraps up. One coming in here. See if we can, oh yeah, he's coming. Oh, I just nipped the back over there. He's coming, oh, nipped her again. There we go. There's a whole little school of them coming in like sharks after that bait. This fish doesn't feel very big. Took a couple swipes at it before he got hooked up. It's right under the ice here. Yeah, just a little guy. Easy, buddy. Pop that hook out. Little fish, get it right back. Finally got a pretty good mark coming in from the right there. I'll just try to stay above it here. Hopefully he sees us and is hungry and ready to eat. Oh yeah, look at that come in. Oh, that looked like a decent mark. Doesn't feel super heavy though. It's not really fighting too much. It's 
straight under the ice here. Freaking out. It's usually when the hook's gonna pop out if it does. Oh, nice beauty dark fish. Yeah, we're on a school. Nice dark fish this morning. That's a other good looking fish. Super cool colors. I'm kind of right back in the water here. Back to the bottom. It's a good start to the day. We've probably been fishing for 45 minutes. We got four fish already. Yeah, fish are chasing that bait around. Up a little bit shallower this morning, 70 feet, but we'll drop right down and hopefully get hooked up here. There's one coming in just below us here. He wants to rise up, get ready. He's starting to turn a little bit. Let's see if we can just slowly. No, not super interested. Well, there's more bait up above us here that's getting pushed across from the left side of the screen to the right. There'll probably be another fish. So we'll just try to stay up through that bait here. There. Oh, we missed some. Let's see if he gives us another chance. There we go. Yeah, just like I was saying, that bait when it started getting pushed across, there's usually a fish with it. Sometimes it might not show up on the screen, but yeah, you just try to reel right through the back edge of that bait and that fish will usually be there somewhere. And sure enough, took one swipe at us and turned around and connected with us again. This is our fifth fish of the morning. And yeah, fishing has been pretty good so far. Lots of dark ones and yeah, another dark one here. Burping away, it's nice and it's good. Um, at least that air, but yeah, it's another absolute beauty for Cold Lake. Probably around that 27, 28 inches. We'll get her right back in the water here. Some, another fish coming in from the left-hand side here. Oh, we got another one chasing us as I reeled up to try to get that other one. Hooked up. I just seen another fish coming in from the left. I was gonna reel up and try to get above him just so that he could see me. And this one came right off the bottom and hit us. Doesn't feel very big at all. But we're at the leader here already. Yeah, just a small little guy. Got that hook through his mouth. Two different spots. Look at that hook out. Come right back in the water. Come on, buddy. Flip around, you're small. There he goes. Oh, that one just smoked me off the bottom. It's just adjusting the camera on the flasher. Let's see if we can get him chasing here. Oh, yeah, he's chasing up pretty aggressive. Missed it there. No. Nope. Came up short. Whoa, there's another one that just came out of nowhere too. I didn't even see that one. That one hit on the way down. One of these fish is going to go, I think. Oh, there's a third one coming up now. Look at this. There we go. That one came off too. Huh. Must be smaller fish or something, but yeah, that's kind of crazy that all those fish kind of coming up like this. Let's see if this other one wants to come back and try chasing again. All right, he's coming up. There we go. Huh. Yeah, that was pretty crazy, three fish like that. Wow, Just one after another. Let's see what we got here. Doesn't feel super big, but oh, he's freaking out by the hole here a little bit. Oh, pulled off right under the ice there. It's just a medium sized fish. Well, get back down there and hopefully get hooked up again soon.
tell I'm coming off the bottom here. Mister. There we go. Turn off the cedar here. Yeah, finally, it's been almost an hour. Fish have just been pretty lethargic, nothing wanted to chase, and then all of a sudden that one came flying up, chasing bait, and smoked us. That's good to get another fish here. Just under the ice. There he comes. Nothing big, but that's another fish. Go. Guys, a quick look. Super lively. Just a little guy. I'll get him right back in the water. Yeah, I updated my HDS 10 last night and the active targets. I get this new color scheme. This blue is pretty, pretty nice background and the better returns coming in in red and the lighter returns coming in yellows and green. So you can kind of differentiate those big fish from bait fish. You can tell when it's a smaller fish and yeah. Some of those bigger fish when they come in look pretty cool so far. But yeah, if you guys like this color scheme, drop a comment below, let me know, and yeah, we'll drop back down there and hopefully we can get hooked up again here soon. This one's coming in aggressive. There's actually two of them. Came up short too. <laughs> Shoot, this is pretty aggressive. When they swim in that fast, usually you connect on them, but not that time. Let's kind of drop back down, see if we can make these two compete for it again. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it was the second fish with the third try, and there we go, hooked up. Yeah, it's kind of fun playing cat and mouse with those fish when you can watch them chase up and down like that. And yeah, sure enough, eventually it paid off. Doesn't feel too big. Just under the ice here. Oh, yes, nice orange fins. Beautiful colors on this fish. We'll pop that hook out here. Guys, a quick look. Yeah, nice color fish. Got it right back in the water. There she goes. That's yeah, fish number eight of the morning here. I'm just kind of picking them off slow now. This morning started off pretty hot, but yeah, there's still the odd aggressive one coming by, so we'll keep at her and if we can get hooked up with something good. Pretty good mark coming across the bottom here. Just try to stay above it. Kind of watches. Oh yeah, he's starting to fly and he's gonna hit us here. There we go. Just like that. Hooked up, yeah. You can definitely tell when those fish get super aggressive like that across the bottom when they speed up, you're probably gonna get smoked. So good to pay attention when they're starting to come across the screen. When they make their first move, you just start reeling and eventually you're gonna get hooked up. This fish didn't feel too big, but it's starting to feel like it has a little bit more weight to it now. It hasn't went on a run or anything. We're at the leader, so just under the ice here. Nice. Get him up here. Oh yeah, another beauty lake trout. came out stayed in the hole for us but yeah so easy girl easy girl but yeah just a nice healthy cold lake lake trout stocky fish strong fight looking right back in the water there he goes back to the bottom yeah super aggressive bite but yeah still coming in here so i'll keep picking them off one at a time and yeah absolute blast for the first day on the ice
Here comes the one off the bottom. Looks like a little more aggressive. There we go. Yeah. Feel very big, but yeah, another aggressive one. This little flurry of bites has been insane again. It's like four fish in the last, I don't know, 30 minutes, I think. It's not a very big one, but just under the ice here at the leader. <laughs> he just coughed up a big old Cisco. <laughs> There we go. Yeah. Not a super big one, but I'll get him right back in the water. Oh, got everything soaked. A little camera splasher there. Yeah, that last fish just coughed up that Cisco. That's what they're feeding on down there. That's what that bait is. We see someone along the bottom. It's Cisco about that size, maybe a little bit bigger than that. But yeah, that's why a bait like this, almost identical profile, same length. That's why two white tube jigs also work good out here. It's because that's that's what those fish are feeding on. So try to get something close to this profile and you'll probably get hooked up. So we'll get right back down there and hopefully get in a few more. Fish chasing me down. I was just dropping my hook down and oh it was too. I was just trying to clean the cameras after that last fish splashed everything and I looked over and Seen a fish coming down with me. Let's see if we can get hooked up here. It's crazy, that fish must have been super high in the water column. Kind of curious to chase, but here comes another one off the bottom. There's a whole bunch of them down there now. Let's drop in the middle and see which one wants to come. Another one. Holy man, there's a lot of fish here. This one's coming up a little faster. This one will probably hit us. There we go. Yeah, it's crazy. There's like four or five fish on the screen there. And yeah, they're all going like crazy. We're getting chased down, fish chasing up. Finally got one of them to bite, but it doesn't feel too, too big. He's kind of wrapping himself all up under the hole here. If he can unwrap himself. He's tried to come up backwards there. There we go. Right in the top of the mouth. Get this fish back. Yeah, so after that last fish, since I get asked every single video, so I was using a 43 inch screamer. It's a heavy rod. It's got a pretty soft tip, so nice solid backbone, soft tip. Good combination for small to big lake trout. And I got that paired with a 30 series Fluger President Reel. Paired with some Suffix 832 High Viz Green and a 20 pound Flora Leader, also by Suffix. And then today we're using TC Moto Meathead with a TC Moto Glow Swim Bait on the back. If you guys watch any of my videos this summer, you know it's been pretty good to me in the past. So I figured I'd kick off the season with this bait. And so far, so good. But we'll get back at her here. Keep grinding. It's about 1 o'clock. So a couple more hours and see what else we can get hooked up with. There's a fish coming up to me here. There we go. It's just eating my lunch. Looked over and there's a fish all over me. Didn't even really have to reel up. I think he had it in his mouth. Doesn't feel super big, but yeah, super fun day so far. I think this is fish number 12. It's kind of a, been a crazy bite window thing actually. This morning, 8.30 to 9.30, I think we caught six fish and now 11 to 12, we've caught six fish in this window here. Oh, it's coming right out of the hole here. Decent fish too. Yeah, 
Yeah, nice healthy Coal Lake Lake shell. We'll get them right back in the water here. Yeah, we're gonna call it a wrap on today. It's just an absolute blast of a day and just yeah, some wicked bite windows. This morning I was like 8.30 to 9.30, you got six fish and then it kind of shut off till about 11 o'clock and then from 11 to 12 another six fish and after that it's kind of been pretty slow dog fish moving in and interacting but nothing too crazy, nothing chasing that's actually committing all the way. So yeah, super fun. It's kind of late out here in mid January to be making a first ice video for Lake Trout, but yeah, just the late freeze up and the way that cold snap worked. This is the first time I could get out on the ice and absolute blast out here. This is my favorite thing to do. So yeah, if you guys like this content, hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you on the water next time. <laughs>